Wow. Uh, where were we? Rex Tillerson. Rex Tillerson. Right. Tillerson's firing today is just the latest in a massive purge of the Trump administration. In a little over a year, we've lost Gary Cohn, Hope Hicks, Rob Porter, Omarosa, Tom Price, Steve Bannon, Ryan Brabus, Sean Spicer, Anthony Scaramucci, Sebastian Gorka, Michael Flynn. That's not even counting the rumor departures of John Kelly, H.R. McMaster, and Jared Anavanka. And, and... <laughs> Since I don't, I don't see, I don't see Steve Mnuchin here. I'll just fill in for him. <laughs> I serve, at the, I serve with the pleasure of the president. I, uh, I was at Goldman Sachs. I, uh, I've got money. It means I'm smart. Now, for those of us in the media. The constant turnover has been amazing to watch. The drama, the fireworks, the winners, the losers, the losers, the losers. It's like something out of the Hunger Games. Or something even more dramatic than that. It's the Hungry to Leave Power Games! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome, my friends, citizens all, to the Hungry to Leave Power Games. I'm back. Now, and so is Caligula. Down, boy! <laughs> you might recall this beloved segment from the election of 2016. But I don't. Mm. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. <laughs> but in this latest installment of the series, we follow the palace intrigue inside the White House as staffers fight to get ahead. And in the case of Stephen Miller, that's a lot of head. Oh, 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 my retinas. Jimmy, turn off the Klieg lights. So let's get to tonight's tribute. Yes. Rex, Rex Wayne Tillerson. Ah, the joy of Rex. But who is, I'm sorry, who was Rex Tillerson? Rex was born in the small town of Exxon Mobil. After a life in the gas business, his net worth is $325 million and nine-tenths of a cent. <laughs> Fractions. And Tillerson was a bit of a Boy Scout, literally. As a child, he attained the rank of Eagle Scout and, as an adult, served as national president of the Boy Scouts from 2010 to 2012, where Tillerson prepared for his future in public service by introducing the merit badge in moron identification. <laughs> Now, from the very beginning, Tillerson admitted he was an unconventional choice for Secretary of State with no prior government experience. Oh, Rexy. No government experience? Have you seen the rest of the cabinet? <laughs> we would have settled for has been to the post office. <laughs> so, so why did Rex take the job if he was so uncertain? Well, he was called by a power even higher than Exxon. It seems Tillerson only took the Secretary of State job because his wife said God wanted him to. <laughs> yes, Rex. She got a message from God. God wants you out of the house because God doesn't like you moping around when God's trying to watch This Is Us. <laughs> now, now, Rex almost didn't last a year because after a controversial speech last summer, he threatened to quit in July. Instead, he sucked it up to work for seven more months. Remember the old saying, if at first you don't succeed, check your Twitter, you've just been fired. <laughs> but the real money quote came from a meeting of national security officials at which Tillerson referred to Trump as a <laughs> moron. <laughs> now, now, Rexy, play nice. Remember what Grandma Tillerson said, if you don't have anything nice to say, you're talking about Donald Trump. <laughs> but just because, just because, do you want, do you want, do you want, do you want, He's got, a he's got a real problem. And just because he was wise enough to call Trump a moron, don't give Rexy too much credit, because under his watch, 60% of our top-ranking diplomats resigned, and he proved unable to appoint people to vital positions like ambassador to South Korea, leading experts from across the political spectrum to call Tillerson one of the worst secretaries of state in modern history, which is saying something, because I know of one secretary of state who couldn't even beat Donald Trump in an election. <laughs> now, oh, oh, they've turned on us. They've turned on us, Caligula. The truth hurts. Ah, back. Down, boy. Back, back. 
No, friends, friends. <laughs> now, uh... truth hurts. Now, all our sexy ex rexes are going back to Texas. <laughs> so we bid Secretary Tillerson a symbolic farewell by filling this simple wooden coffin. First, with Secretary Tillerson, and next, with what he loved most, delicious oil. And guess what? Guess what? This coffin is not watertight. I guess, I guess, I guess we should have tried this in rehearsal. Yes, you want some? Do you want some? Mm, delicious. Mop it up now. Uh, we should finish this quickly before it gets to the electronics. Because whether it be fossil fuels or calling the president a moron, we know Rex Tillerson likes it crude. Now, as is our custom, Now, is our, as is our custom, let us bid farewell to the fallen. And while we're here, let us honor all who have fallen since we last met. All right, speed it up, speed it up. It's sad to see them leave, but they're going to a better place, testifying for Robert Mueller. <laughs> We'll be right back with Ed.